The war in the Philippines. The Japanese landed on Luzon's northern coast on December 8, 1941. The full invasion occurred December 22nd where they landed on Lingayen Gulf. MacArthur attempted to defeat the Japanese on the beaches, but he overestimated the ability of his troops. The Japanese also landed on the southeast coast of Luzon. The Allied troops were now surrounded to the north and the south. MacArthur was now left with two options. He could either withdraw into the mountains or make a stand at Bataan Peninsula. He decided to defend the peninsula. He held the peninsula for almost three months, but it was finally overrun on May 5, 1942. Over 75,000 Allied troops were taken prisoner and were transported into horrible conditions. There was much confusion amongst the leaders. General Richard Sutherland, an air commander, Louis Brereton, and General MacArthur were in charge during the attack on the Philippine Islands. They all blamed each other for the attack on the Philippines. Each general had an ample warning of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Commander Brereton even tried planning a bombing raid on Formosa. The bombing did not take place because MacArthur was too busy to give permission. The reason the march actually took place was because there was a breakdown among the Japanese arrangements for transporting and feeding the prisoners. They were expected to take no more than 25,000 prisoners, but they actually took close to 75,000 prisoners. The march included 72,000 prisoners, and they were marched 55 miles from the southern end of Bataan Peninsula to a railhead in the Philippines on April 9, 1942. From there, they would be shoved into an overcrowded boxcar that would take them to a prisoner camp. Their final destination was Camp O'Donnell. The conditions that were involved in the march were some Japanese soldiers actually showed kindness, but most soldiers practiced extreme brutality on the prisoners. The prisoners were also given little to no food or water. The Japanese had the prisoners sit in the sun for hours with no shade and if a prisoner fell behind, he'd be bayoneted or beaten. The effects following the march, over 7,000 soldiers died and more than 4,000 of those soldiers were Filipino. The march angered the U.S. The U.S. was infuriated by, the, by Pearl Harbor and the anger escalated greatly from the march and as well as the deaths of the POWs. This image was used in extreme propaganda for the American people. It showed the brutality of the Japanese soldiers and it convinced people to support the war effort.